Hey guys, I'm here to show you this King Dell mini computer I got from Amazon. Let me go ahead and unbox it for you and then we can go over the specs. Here's what it looks like. It, like I said, it's a mini computer. It's all aluminum chassis with no fan at all. So you will never hear a fan on this. It'll be completely silent because there's no physical fan inside. As you can see, the noise level is zero decibels. And this is a Broadwell Intel 5th generation i7 dual core processor. So this, I, I realize this processor is about five years old at this point. Um, however, that's where the cost savings comes in. Okay, uh, this is only um, around 500 something dollars on Amazon. Uh, there's a coupon. It's it's 568, but there's a $40 coupon. And for this uh, form factor and size and convenience, um, you know, you're gonna have to sacrifice some of the specs if you want it for this price range. This does have 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs um, a solid state drive uh, hard drive. Oh, this thing is so cool to the touch. I'm like touching it for the very first time and it feels so cool. Literally, in my hands, it feels cool. So here's what it looks like. It looks like a car amplifier. I mean, this is so nice. This whole, the whole shape of this case looks like a heat sink. And since it doesn't have a fan, that's probably a good reason. So here you can see there's four USB ports right here. There's uh, two Ethernet ports, two HDMI ports, uh, power. This is for the antennas for the Wi-Fi. And this is the BGN Wi-Fi. Uh, on this side, um, okay, so these are the USB 3 ports. These are USB 2, that's why they're black, and these are blue. Four USB 3 ports. An SD card slot built right in, optical speaker and microphone, and that's all there is. And the whole thing will sit like that. We're talking less than 10 inches wide, so exactly 9 inches by 7 inches by 2 and a quarter inches. It comes with a stand in case you want to put this vertically like that. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna go set this up. Hey everybody, so I'm back. I hooked up my computer, I connected to the Wi-Fi, and let me just tell you, there is absolutely no setup with this computer at all. As soon as I started it up, it booted up. It didn't even ask me for a password or anything. It was already set up. I think that's what explains why there are no instructions in the box. You only get the computer and the parts that I showed you in the unboxing, but the reason why is because everything is already set up. There's nothing for you to do but turn it on. And, um, you know, I can tell you, it was like pretty fast turning it on due to the SSD hard drive. Uh, but let's take a look at the specs of this computer. All I've done is, is installed Steam um, to, to, to show you a video game test. And uh, I've installed my favorite browser, which is Chrome. Uh, so let, let's go to this PC, right click it, click on properties and see what the specs are. So right away you can see we're running Windows 10 Professional. Um, the processor is the Intel Core i7 uh 5500 series right there this is the rodwell series at 2.4 gigahertz installed memory is 16 gigs which is uh, uh, pretty good i mean a lot of new computers today in 2020 come with 16 gigs of ram so the fact that this machine is running a five-year-old uh you know intel processor and it still comes with 16 gigs is amazing because five years ago you probably would have gotten maybe eight gigs of ram uh, but this one does come with 16 um, 63-bit arboring system. Uh, they named it King Dell. Um, and for the hard drive space, let me do Windows E and go down to local C properties. And you can see that the capacity is 237 gigs. So they advertise 256, but let me tell you, anybody that knows computers will tell you that the advertised space is not what you get. Uh, you get something very close to it. So you get 237 out of the advertised 256. And I've, I've installed a couple of things and you can see now I have 211 gigs available. So those are the main things I want to show you. 
Um, this set does not come with a keyboard and mouse, so you will have to provide your own keyboard and mouse. Uh, but the performance on this machine is pretty amazing. Um, if I open up a web browser, I mean, you can see it's pretty responsive, right? So let me put it over here. And then you can go to Amazon.com. You can do your shopping on Amazon. And everything is silky smooth. It scrolls just fine. Uh, no problems. If you want to go to like YouTube.com, uh, watch anything uh, streaming from there, it should be really nice as well. You can see everything loads just fine. No problems. There's no stuttering, no jittering or anything like that. Full screen it. That's just fine. <laughs> it looks great. Let's see what's going on in Costa Rica here. Wow, look at that image. Wow. Did you see that? There's no lag whatsoever. There's no dedicated video card for this. Okay, there's, 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 there's no like NVIDIA video card inside of this. It's like the built-in HD video, but it looks stunning. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Look at the colors. Wow, it looks great on my side. Okay. And what else can you do? Um, you can go like Google Docs if you want to do like uh, online like if you log into Google you can do like Google Docs sheets slides and forms which are like Microsoft equivalents of like Word Excel PowerPoint um, uh, for Google but the other thing I found out was there's actually Microsoft Word installed here but if I go to my programs I go down to Microsoft Office I see the suite of software here you see that all of it is here and like Office Microsoft Word 2007, this actually works. And look how nice that is. Change this to like title, change the color. I mean, this is Microsoft Word. Everybody knows Microsoft Word. I don't have to show you it, but I just want to show you that it does have Microsoft Word and it works. Full blown word processor. Um, and I installed Steam to play games. So for those of you that are thinking about buying this to play games, it's got 16 gigs of RAM and a fast solid state hard drive. So this is great for gaming. Um, and I'll just play one game right now and let's see what this experience is like. So this is party panic, uh, start the party. So what am I supposed to do with this game? Well, this guy is kicking our butt. Oh, I have it. So should I run? I think the point is to see who can hold this thing for the longest time, I think. Because everybody's just chasing me for it. So none of y'all can come up here. Are you serious? 22 seconds of me holding this? Look at my score, guys, on the top left. 800s. It's just going nuts. But look how smooth that gameplay is. I didn't experience any kind of, like, stuttering. I didn't uh, see any, like, pixelation of any kind. Um, it just works. Yeah, this computer works pretty well. All I did was connect to the Wi-Fi and it just works and you can start downloading your favorite apps and start using it. Uh, the, you know, it's great. It's an i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM. You can easily multitask with this computer and do, have multiple programs running at the same time with no issues. You can definitely do some uh, moderate gaming on this. You can see I installed Steam and was able to play some of my favorite online games with it. Now, if you want to install and play some like hardcore games, at you know maximum settings and all that maybe not i mean it doesn't have a dedicated graphics card this is more of a work machine um you know office work machine that can game um so you know just keep that in mind um but you know the experience of opening this up and setting it up was so smooth so simple uh it looks great i'm looking at it on my desktop right now it looks great um, it's fanless. I don't hear anything. I mean, my MacBook right now's fan is running because I'm recording this. Um, but I hear nothing from the Kingdale. And 
it the whole the whole shape of the machine acts as like a heat sink so you do feel and touch it and it's a little warm but i have it standing up like my old playstation 2 and it looks so awesome especially in this color of black it has good expandability options so there's like an sd card slot right there there's like eight usb ports um four of which are usb 3 high speed uh there's a front mic and and speaker jacks um there's two hdmi uh, out cable so that you can hook up two um, HD monitors to this um, and everything just works so smoothly so it's it's a uh, I can see why this is so highly ranked on Amazon and I'm glad I bought this uh, my daughter is gonna be very happy when I set this up in her room uh, especially with the school year starting next week um, but so far so good um, I do want to point out that there is another slot inside this computer should you want to expand the hard drive um okay uh hopefully you found this helpful and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching